Welcome to Imperator Rome, my name is Mentrius and welcome to the Let's Play of Superior where we are going to try and create the Greater Iberium. At the moment, if we take a look at the world map, there are a lot of big powers having a lot of problems like Rome is, is kind of being torn apart. Never seen this happen. But, well, there are some more. Bastaria. Bastarnia, I guess it's Bastarnia. And Apulis, also having a lot of trouble. I think it's even Carthage or not. No, it's not. Moving in. We have one big neighbor in this area, so that's going to be a little problem. We are currently in a war, trying to end it. We just need to siege the main provinces. So we want to siege. And I don't mind getting that. Alright, so we are at 100% now. We can sue for peace. I kind of want to have this one, this one, and this one. They are both are going to be yellow, so that's something we don't want. We can take them later. We can take the money. And... Yeah, we're going to do it this way. I don't want yellow to be that kind of strong or at least we could do it like this way maybe that way my ally is becoming a little bit stronger and we are definitely going to take a look at the family because i definitely need I have some good warriors, so he gets a rival. I I need I need fighters. I need leaders of my legions. And I guess it's not you. This family maybe. No, nope, no good generals. Ooh, you are acceptable. You're an eight. You're already a two. Let's see if there's a better better one. He uses six, seven to the lady. And you have some rivals. A one, a four, and a crappy man. What are these family doing? They're all like. You're a friend of it. Who is your. Hmm, interesting. So I kind of not see. I don't see any except. It was like one, two or four, no, no, we're... Nah, have the rescues crucified. Let's take a look at these guys. He's a zero, that's kind of crappy. Uh, so, he's not good. You. Ooh, that one's a seven. Two sevens. And a six. At the moment, but that guy is an 8. Who is he? You're from another nation, I guess? You're from that nation. Alright. And then we got you. You're a 2. You got a 7. A 1, 4, 5. You have like a lot of sons, but they're all crappy. You are an 8. You're interesting. And you're a 7. You got like a 5 and a 4. So I guess these brennies. Then we got like two brenny families. That, that's going to be offered. Refresh to the brennit family. Embrace the brennit family. And the rest is have the rest crucified. So we got like one new family. We got... Can we import some stuff? No, we can still not import. That's kind of annoying. Accept their offer. And we got some blockaded ports. By the pirates. Well, there's nothing really we can do. We are going to send this army to this area. And let's have a look at the provinces. 
What are we going to do with all these? So this is one big culture simulation. Got 69 pops. Nothing really happening there with the culture thing. Uh, there are 51. Right, so we need a little bit more assimilation, and that's going to take us a lot of time, but well, there's nothing else we can do in the meantime. We're still not a regional power, so that's kind of... These, these two got like a defensive pack. We got like unmarried ruler again, arranged marriage, but... Well, we got a lot more candidates. That's good. Rash. Don't mind that, Merciful. We're definitely going to do that. Thank you. Ooh, that's done. We got two Scorn families. Well, maybe you... Got a better... Uh, a 10. You're definitely going to be the leader of that. Alright. So, I guess we get like one more. Ooh. What just happened? National Freeman, National Dads. Who are you? Who are you? You're all the way over there. I don't mind. Accept. That will always be safe. I kind of want to be the regional power again, and therefore we need to declare war to this. We have cause belly. What's the different? Really don't mind which one we take. Kind of want to let my people regroup a little bit first, and I want to have like a little bit of an army. Why aren't you able to move? Select. Interesting. Any more imports we can do? I kind of want to do that now. Really need it. Kind of strange that I cannot use any imports. Loyalty. I guess that's because of the cultural changes. Let me go check these. It's like 50-50. This one as well. So well soon we will fix that. Could do that. That would be... Mm, interesting heart. Building slots. No. I definitely want to see if you guys are getting more happy. No, you're not, but we well, definitely are able to build one more. And I think the problem is the forts. I got a lot of new forts that I don't need and they are all costing me money. So this one is definitely getting destroyed. We're still losing money. Even though we took down a large part of their army. Alright, I got these guys, you guys are all at peace, so that should be enough. Yeah, we are going to declare war. We just need it. 
You guys don't want to join. Hmm, interesting. We are allies, we are in debt. Alright, so that's kind of problem. Especially the debt thing is... Is a problem. All right, let's see military tradition. Army attrition, that's always a good thing. How is my technology doing? Uh, my technology then I should go to the technology screen thank you we're currently level one wish I could get this up what kind of level you're level nine you're seven do I got anybody better yes we do and uh, you are trusty as well and you are eight eight so that will do all right. A shadow of doubt. Worrying rumors are spreading among the people that our nation has fallen from grace. Yes, I guess we do. Splendid. I don't mind spending those religious power. Stability increased. But this kind of really is a problem with Fort Minchin, Army Maintenance. I got like one, two, three. I, I wonder if we don't need this. Once we are going in for this, we'll have another fortress. So I guess we are going to destroy that fortress as well. And that should bring us in the plus. Yeah, this is bringing us in a plus. Right, are you still in debt? Because I kind of want to go to war, you know? You're still in debt. I kind of need you for the war, you know? I really, really need you. I wonder what we can do politically with this guy because he's now a vessel. Can we like integrate them with Cancel Shuriken, Threatened War? Cool. Yeah, we can spend more. Pause the game. What can we do? Covered auction? Uh, no. So there's no real thing we can do then hmm. They're not helping us with the war so it was kind of bad idea to do this It definitely was a bad idea to do that Because there's no way to integrate them into my Hmm. That's a waste. That was definitely a waste. I guess they are having a big problem as well with two forts. I gave them one fort land. And we got another thing that's going to help us. Alright. Get somebody cancelled. Alright. Last thing checked, nope. Then we are going into war. He got 7,000. And who's the last one that's going to join in my war? Because I'm kind of lost. I guess it's these guys. Hmm. All right, interesting. They got like 11k, so that's kind of interesting. So you join, you join. Ooh, you all want to join in. Then we're definitely going to go to war. Thank you. Honored, honored, honored. All right, I'm just moving my troops in. 
Let the enemy do the fighting thing. And I accept your offer. What's this? No, we'll be gentle because I kind of want to take the damn land. Maybe that wasn't the smartest thing to do. Hopefully anybody is coming to help me. No. Damn it. That just cost me a lot of troops. Right, that wasn't the smartest thing to do, but oh well. So this is not going that bad. Is there anything we can import? We'll always have to check because it's not going to tell us. It's quite annoying. If if there was like a route and I could import stuff, then I wouldn't mind if they popped that up. How did you get like 8,000 troops again? This is going to be a quick war and I guess in the end of this war we will be victorious. That thing is going to take like a few... You're not going to... Oh, I thought you were not going to give it back, but you are. Now I kind of need to let those guys take out the last 10k. So we're no longer importing cloth. Oh my god, now we got like two trade routes that aren't being used. Oh man, why? Is there not like anything? Nobody wants to trade with me? Alright, so they're killing like the 10k. They're doing all the homework and we are all going to have fun. I'm definitely not going to lose stability. National unrest. Alright, I guess our people from numbers are like claim that the war... Oh, I thought that we... National population grow. that's always good. Alright, we are going to slow the game down and we're going to see what is this piece is going to give us. Like a little bit of money. And one total piece of land. And we are now a regional power. Good pass yeah. Judgment. Got any good soldiers? Any high skill? You got like some nice ladies. Alright. How big is your family? Your family is kind of big. You got like, well. Hmm. I kind of like this one. So we are going to have that. For eight years, yes, that that guy. Have the rest crucify, and have the rest crucify as well. All right, we we are now back being a regional power. Uh, I've been here before, and the pretty hard part was then creating like big allies. But I think that's going to be a little bit easier now. Got more capital import route, but we'll need stuff to import. We got diplomatic relationships. Plus three, that's also a good thing, diplomatic range. 
especially that diplomatic range so we are now guaranteeing those guys and there's like one thing we definitely need to look into and well first thing first is the fort thing so we're going into the little minus there's only one fort there so that's less than i expected all right maybe we'll don't have to look into that we first need a researcher and we should have like ooh, we got like two tents <sighs> that's great then i want to look at my government because if we have two or like 10 people and all the family so oh. If we got like two ten people, we can. Oh, come on! I do it two times in the same row. I want to. Brenna. It's pretty hard selecting somebody to become of office, and I shouldn't have fourteen. Holy moly! I definitely don't want six people in my Brenna. We got like a lot of Brenna. Hmm. That that's scary because they might get too powerful. They're all from the same family. What have you been teaching these girls? A lot of these are all like pretty good. I guess your family isn't that good at all. Where is your Look at this Brandy family. That that's a big family. They got like a lot of prestige, and that that's kind of dangerous. Oh well. What is it that you are good at? You got like a nine in civic. Hmm. So I guess this girl should be able to do a civic position as well. Yes. Then why can I not select her? Or is this this girl eight? Yeah, this one. All right, now that we are a little bit bigger, we have like things to import, like precious metal. That's a good one. We are going to go for the surplus. We already have says private loyalty. That's that one's good. That's definitely a good one. So we got now two surplus. And there's nothing else we can do. So it's it's kinda like Alright, now the last thing we need to do is go to the decisions. This is kind of annoying. I only need this piece and these guys. And I need this little province. So that's definitely something we are going to focus on. All right. Now let's take a look. You are now born province. So I should have Get a lot of manpower to fix my problems. And I need to know a little bit about you. Because you're going to be my next target. You have two allies and you have like a defensive pact. So that's going to be the next target. First next thing is unpause the game. Uh, left the league. Oh yes, we needed to find another regional power. Uh, oh, you're still a local power. Didn't expect that because you are kind of big. Hmm. Didn't expect that at all. And you. Also a local power. Local power. Oh my god. I didn't really expect that at all. And you guys. How can you still be a local power? 
This is kind of strange because I really didn't expect this. Local power. Alright, I kind of want to be able to have some diplomatic relationships. Uh, at the moment, let's take a look at my own diplomatic relationship. So we got like one slave, uh, we got like Hungarian King guy, and I got no defensive pact. So I have a truce with these guys. Totally no alliances. Why aren't you guys? We'll get too many relationships. <laughs> so you, you two guys are in a defensive pact. <laughs> I guess I am going to open my diplomatic relationships improve relationships with these guys we're definitely going to do that and i want to improve relationship with you guys because you're big as well that is going to cost me uh, some and you guys do you like me oh my god I'm improving the relationship with you guys and you declare war on me. That is truly horrible. Pause the game, pause the game. Very high. Did I do anything wrong because you just declared war on me? You're pretty big. How did that happen? Because you should have defensive leaks. Yes, you do, but they didn't join you. You start a war with me. This is really the most interesting thing ever. All right. Well, for now, I am just going to move in one of my main armies. Because this guy is kind of pathetic small. I don't get this. I don't get this how, what and how. I, I really don't. If anybody can explain it to me, I would really love to know. I really do. Because somehow I am in the minus now. Alright, so let's move you guys together as one. Because he does have like 16k troops, 20k troops. And it does look like some kind of merchant army or something like that. I don't get it. Are you at war with multiple people now? You're at war. Let, let's go out. Out. Zoom out. You're at war with me. You're at war with him. You're at war with him. And you are also at war with him. And you got like. You had like. Oh, it, it looked like. Hmm. No. I'm, I'm still not getting this. I still don't get this. All right. Well, this is going to be it. We will have to fight this war in the next episode because I don't get how he got like 18 town. Oh, I guess this is what all his... Ah, his buddy has joined the battle. That's why. All right. So it's definitely going to be a little bit of fair battle, but mm, well, fair. We got like a lot more archers. We should have more cavalry. I do think we do need that. Well, that's something for the next episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And, well, we are going to play on, expand, and become the Great Iberium. If you guys got any tips, tricks, comments, 
anything you would like to say put it in a comment down below and i will get back to you as soon as possible and i hope you guys all enjoyed see you in the next video